Oh, no. Hello and welcome to another episode of Atlas. I've been gone for a while and my character... What, why are they off the boat? <laughs> and my character is apparently about to die. Um, that's fine. I, I don't really need you to be alive right now anyway. Because I don't want to deal with food and I'm lazy. So, I haven't re uploaded a video in like, I don't know, nearly a week. Why? There's no real fancy reason for it. My, everything's fine, internet works. I just honestly could not be bothered playing uh, Atlas. <laughs> could not be bothered doing it. Same with uh, Space Engineers. I need to fix you guys. Why you guys are off the boat, I do not know. You're not supposed to be off the boat. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I just I, I couldn't be bothered playing video any video, real video games. I just played Red Dead Online 2 for just lols. I don't know. Anyway, th that doesn't matter. Today I have plans. I have plans which have plans within plans. I need to first need to cure this starving issue. Okay, one more. I got my elephant. There we go. Um, what I want to do is I want to go actually to the um, what do you call it? The the um. The, the, the place where you get mythos from and stuff and things and all that kind of stuff. Oh, no. oh god damn it. <laughs> I want to go there and I want to, um. Look at all the ships that's on. I want to, uh, go, um. Travel to bed. Kill things. I want to set up a base on the island. That's what I want to do. I want to set up a base. I want to farm some mythos. I want to see, um. Explore the island as best as I can. Before I die from, you know, probably everything that's hunting and trying to kill me. I've got a feeling it's going to be a, a pretty disastrous in ad adventure. But before we leave to go there, what we have to do is we have to get everything prepared. Because I'm not going to really be able to uh, farm or build or any of that kind of stuff while I'm over there. Because everything will kill you. <laughs> that's, that's what they do in that area. So we're going to need to take these walls, we're going to need to take some of these ceilings, and some of the roofs. I'm going to need some foundations, if I've got any. Are those foundations? I don't know, are they? Yes, they are. Great, we can take those. we got that there. And we also have to... We have to repair the back pane, I believe is the one that has the blisters on it. Yes, it is. Back pane needs some repairs. And I need to get rid of these uh, shipyards too. I'm keeping one of them. One of them, one of the mythical ones I'm keeping. All right, it, it, that's my payment for stuff and things. Um, anyway, uh, back pain. Where are you? Back pain. Okay, so what's wrong with the back pain? I just know there is something wrong with it. For starters, the crew uh, need to be paid money. Well, and do they have food? They don't have food. I'm sure you're getting food from somewhere. Okay, so this one is missing a few plank uh, ceilings, a few walls. Uh, a few roofs. We got these ballistas on the back here. Okay. Now, do I have any ballista ammo? That is another question. Uh, you should be open so you can get some water. These were from bear breeding, so we can get rid of those. And let's have a look here. You have absolutely no ammo in you. So I need to make up a bunch of ballista ammo. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to work... Um, Repairing all of this stuff, and then we can set sail to the nearest uh, island, which is C6. Yeah, C6. So we got one in C6. There's one in D12. There's one in F8. The other benefit of going here too is we can get these power stones because I don't have any of the power stones yet. As you can see on my... Is it still sharp on the compass when you bring it up? Yeah, there's no power stones on my compass. Unless I'm pretty sure that's where they show up. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get to work. And then once we do that, we'll head out to sea. And I'm going to get those people back on the boat because I don't know what they're doing in the water. Alrighty. So, I've got the ship rebuilt. I've got my crew on board to me and my ballista turrets. I have my building supplies for the little base I want to see if I can put down somewhere safe. I've got a bunch of ballistas to defend it. We've only got 130 ballistas spare there. I think there's 340 in here. 330 in here. So we've got a little bit of ballistas. Not many, but hopefully that's enough. I did. I brought food, didn't I? Did I bring food? Yeah, I brought food. 
Okay, so I've got food, they've got food, the water barrel, it was just raining earlier, so that did not fill up at all, of course not. Um, it was raining, I was like the perfect opportunity, because you're slightly underneath the bloody, you may, you may not actually fill up there. If these things are underneath these little things, apparently they don't fill. Um, very annoying, <laughs> very, very annoying. Especially when you're using like this many sails like I am because I wanted to be a smart ass and use modded sails and have it look good rather than you know the legit way. Shush. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, don't matter. It's time to get going. Hopefully I can actually get this ship out of here. I didn't think about this. Um There is a slight problem. I've kind of wedged myself in a little bit with the galleon being right where it is. It's it's blocking me in. I'm blocked in! No, 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 no. So what I've got to do now is I've got to get this guy out of this damn dock area. Um, is it even going to be possible? Don't clip into the... Nothing good ever comes from clipping into things. Alright, it's never a good thing. Okay. Let's go turn the ship. Alright, so I'm going to get the ship out. I'm going to sail over to C6. I don't expect it to be an exciting journey. Um, I'm not going to do any fighting of anything. If I see ships that are damned, I'm basically just going to run away. And that's going to be it. That galleon's ladder, if you've noticed on the back, is all glitched out as well. Don't know what happened there. Um, it's a thing. Probably going to make that galleon useless now. Wait, do I have a ladder on the other side of the galleon? I do. Which is glitched out as well. So, yay for that. But anyway, we've made it out. I'm um, setting sail onto C6, which is... Is it C6? C6, which is northeast. Never eat soggy whippets. Yes, northeast. So, that's east. We want to go this way. But we also don't want to go that way right now. We don't want to go that way right now. No. No, 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 no. That's the, um, that's the rock of death part, so we want to go south. We want to go south a bit, and then we want to go east. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel over to C6, hopefully get there without sinking the ship. That'd be a, that'd be a great thing to do. And I'll meet you all there. So, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so we've made it to the evil, evil place place where all the bad things happen and the people chase me and all the scariness and the and I don't want to get hurt stuff happens but I've actually been on this island before quite a while ago with a few mates and that and we did some stuff and things on it stuff and things I'll talk about later but one thing I'm going to show you right now is how easy the I don't need it right now but the fountain of youth on this um, damn I'm close to that border the fountain of youth in this island is very easy very close to, to actually get. Hello, big stabby. Oh, there's a shark there. You just, you ju you're just chilling. No, 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 no. You chill. You be chill. So, Flemfield Haven. Interesting name. So there's a crashed ship here, which is kind of cool. Nothing really fancy to look at. But you just come along here on the shoreline, and the fountain of youth is just around the corner here. It's very easy, generally. Um, well, it was. Uh, last time I did this, but I don't know this single player seems to be a bit funny <laughs> um, Let's see now. I don't know. I'm I think that they changed the fountain of youth to spawn on every island now that it used to be only on one island I don't know or maybe it was just a single player uh, How do I get to this thing again? Now I don't want to look back because if I look back oh, there it is Okay, so now usually this thing is swarming with all kinds of evil. But you just come running through here. See, there's a fountain of youth. You go along the right-hand side. Just stick to the right-hand side of the wall. Come running around here. Um, goddamn scorpions. Don't get bit by those scorpions because they're like level 800 and that one's 500. But you got to get past the scorpions. Come on, guys. I just got to lead you outside into a big circle. And I'm gonna just go past you like that. Look, easy. Boom. Excuse me, snake. Boom. You come up, you press that, except I'm not young enough to actually use it. Artifact key to retrieve power stone. That's interesting as well. Um, 
Yeah. yeah I'm only level I'm only 29 years old apparently in the game. So let's jump over this. Come back here. Very simple, very easy. Now, where I want to build my uh, uh, base on this island is actually around the corner. I just wanted to show you how easy the power stone, uh, the age kind of view thing is on this island. Because I remember doing this on other islands and then I f then we found this island and it was just so much easier. And plus, why the hell not? I'm here. So, I'm going to quickly move over to where I want to actually set up my base. My base I want to set up like is just along here, I think. I think that's where I'm going to, I'm going to set up. But I am going to do a quick circumnavigation of the island. Just to double check to see if there is any better places. So, I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty, so I changed my plans up just a little bit. I've decided that I want to settle uh, my little uh, FAB here, my little forward operation base. Now this isn't going to be a full blown base because... what? No, you don't want to live on this island. These islands are terrible. Like, if I ran up to that tiger it'd be like level 400 or something. Those leather wig things, they're a pain in the ass too. They pick you up and then drop you from a high distance. Not fun. Not fun. But, anyway, so I decided to build um, my, our base here simply because, like, right up there, that's where the big town is, or whatever you call it, the city, the the place to be, the stuff and things, and that city has uh, some things I want to do with it, some fun things. If you know what's on C6, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, well, uh, next episode or two, you'll find out. Uh, anyway, so... The way I'm going to do this base is just, it's very basic and boring, right? So let's just carry as much as this as it'll let me. That much? 35? Okay. So it's going to be very basic and boring. Oh, and I forgot to bring tools here. I had to make my own tools. Uh, which was annoying. And there was heaps of stone here I've cleared out already. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to put the main base just up here, right? Out of the way, up sort of back here. It's not going to be anything flash or fancy, like I said. It's just a farming... It's just a, a, it's not even really a farming base really, it's more of a, um, just a place to hide. A safe haven, somewhere to not be massacred, especially by the flying Diablo death things. I don't like them, they're not, they're not friends, they're not friends of mine, they don't want to hang out and chill, they just want to hang out and burn, and float around there and act all superior and everything, and I'm not for that, I'm, I'm not, that's not what I'm all about. Okay, so we're going to have like this little base here, it's very simple, then probably just, it's probably going to be all walls. I'm thinking I'm going to put the door at the back here, uh, so we can go in and out. Then what I eventually want to do, eventually being the keyword, not, probably not going to really happen this episode because I don't have, uh, actually I may have a fair bit of resources now. Um, but anyway, uh, what I want to eventually do is I want to sort of set up like a little kill box type thing where we can lead uh, gorgons and high level animals down there so like I don't know, what did I come up here for? I came up here for more foundations um, so let me just hit boom and boom okay sweet so what I'm thinking is so we'll have like that section there right obviously we're gonna have that and then uh, maybe we should just here temporarily let me connect all of these up just so that, that we've got like a even thing and I can put like a wall at the back here. Oh, what the hell's going on game? Let me pick up things. Right, I just want to pick... No! Stop with the lag. How do you lag on a single player game? Anyway. So we'll have like a little kill box here. Actually, may have to go a little bit further back. Pick up like that. So we'll lead the animals into here, or the dino, or whatever you want to call them, the monsters, the dinos. I'll lead them into here, and then up here there will be uh, ballistas pointing down, and then on this side there will be more ballistas pointing down, and then the people can just absolutely wreck them, and annihilate them, and show them who's boss. Uh, spoiler alert, probably be them. <laughs> uh, these, the, the things on this island are no joke. So... What I'm going to quickly do now is I'm going to slap this, all this base together, and make it very simple. It's essentially just going to be this big. It's going to have a couple of beds, probably a few beds. 
Uh, a couple storage chests and maybe a smithy. Nothing flash or fancy about this base. So, let me get to work building this thing. And then when we come back, I want to show you some stuff. Just, just a few little things. Well, I kind of have bad news, everybody. Don't know why. But my plan won't work. The ballistas won't shoot. The pe there are people on them. They're set to aggressive. I've told them to shoot. I've whistled to shoot. I've punched them. I've tried everything to get them to shoot. Um, like, they just, they won't shoot. Like, the things have ammo. Maybe it's the roofs. I don't know. But, like, the other side didn't have roofs at all. <laughs> The other side down here doesn't have roofs, and um, those blister turrets don't work. So what I had to do was I had to back the ship up here to uh, kill things and stuff. Um, and even the oh, yeah, more pirate soldiers. I don't want to deal with you right now. But the only way I can really get it to work anyway is this, and then I target it. And uh, can I actually get the yellow to come up? That'd be great if I can get. This is not the right animal to test this one. Boom. Bam, it works. I mean, so, perfect, no, effective, sort of, it works. The backup thing is here to kill everything. It's nice and easy. Can I get all four back? No, you're only going to give me two. Well, you're stingy and I don't like you. So, the other thing I wanted to do um, on this island, which I'm going to quickly explain now, seeing as there's no point kiting animals in there to kill them, as that won't have any effect. That is something I spawned in that I've got to get rid of. I was trying to see if puckle guns would work or swivel guns or whatever you call them. And nope, those didn't work either. Nothing wanted to work. Everything was just like hell to the no. I don't want to fire. I'm a pacifist. I'm an object. What are they? Conscious objector or whatever they call it. I don't know. It just it pisses me off. Just work game. This is why we buy you. This is what we want you to do. This is what we tell you to do. But it's like, no, I don't want to do that. And I'm like, just work. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, what I would just group back, order, free fight. Yeah, see, like, whatever. It's, it is what it is. It, they don't want to do it. They, they want to be pain in the butt. Game AI is broken. What the hell is that? Manta? Okay. So, what I want to do in the next couple episodes is... I don't, actually don't know how this is going to work because I got boosted um, stuff. But, you can actually take out the Hydra solo. I, I've seen people do it. I've heard people do it. Uh, so, I know it can be done. Um... The only problem is, I don't know why I've got my stuff on me, this may end terribly, probably will. Um, I don't know if I can show you, but I'm pretty sure that this Hydra in here, see, there he is, or her, or whatever. I'm fairly certain this guy is um, level 600. Pretty positive about it. So I don't know if this will work. The way I had this planned, but essentially, uh, you see things. Essentially, what I had planned was to kite the guy and shoot him in the head. Uh, see, Hydra level six hundred. Now, the way I'm going to, I'm still going to try to do it. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm still going to try. I'm probably going to fail miserably, but that's part of the fun. Anyway, so how I've got to do it. What I was planning was to do was to come up around the back here, hopefully not get killed or picked up by one of those stupid fly things, or, or the countless army of the damned. We've got to work our way up this mountain, and then I've got to build like a little zip line down over to this side, and then I can shoot the Hydra comfortably from here. But we're going to try that next episode. This episode is a little bit of a failure. Not due to my fault though. My thing would work. It would work beautifully, in fact. I know it would. Um, it's just the game's deciding to be a douche about it, as always. So, that's going to be it for now, guys. I hope you sort of enjoyed it. Uh, my first video back in like a week or something. I don't know. Uh, if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that other stuff. And as always, have a good one, and we'll see you all next time. Bye! God damn it, game. Could you just please for once work the way 
Like, just work. That's all we need. 